everybody, getting situated in the truck here, heading down the dirt road and getting ready to head to town for the day. Got to do some errands and uh, whatnot. And uh, just some thoughts entered my mind that I thought I'd share. Because I haven't done a video for American Homestead in a while. Anyway, um, I guess this morning I got up and looked at my messages or, you know, I get messages for all the comments that are left on videos and things like that. And I saw somebody who left a comment. I don't know if I, I don't remember the comment he left, but uh, a comment, the name of the person who left the comment was called the Common Man Homestead. Common Man Homestead. And I like that name. That's a good name. I mean, that's a, I don't know. I saw that. I was like, that's a good name. The Common Man Homestead. And I don't know. It just, it's one of my pet peeves, I guess, because so many of the, I don't know, popular YouTube channels that are out there today on homesteading. Not, not all of them, but a few of them. They're, they're, not, they're anything but common. I mean, there's no way most people are going to be able to do some of the things that they do. And, uh, you know, they, and, and their, their, their channels are usually focused around one or two things, but not lots of other things, you know, like actually food production and you know, just caring, you know, caring for livestock and just all kinds of things that we get into here and other people get into on their channels, they don't get into those things. And so I just, you know, the common man homestead, I really like that. I like that, that name, it's a good name. Anyway, so I was heading down the road and um, something, else, something else, some other thought entered my head. I'm going to be going over, uh, some of you guys know a guy named Steve Mutria. I think we're going over to his place tonight. And uh, I might do a video for the other channel, you know, with him when I'm over there. Kind of looking forward to that. But, you know, he's my buddy. And so that that's what got me to thinking. I remember that video. Do you remember that commercial back in, it had to be like the 1980s, 1990s, probably 1990s, where it was my buddy. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, wherever I go, he's got to go, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy and me. Remember that? Remember that commercial? <laughs> I, uh, I remember that. And, you know, I didn't think of it then, but, you know, thinking of it now and just looking at the world around us and how messed up it is. You know, that was really the, the, you know, at the beginning stages, or I, maybe it could be the middle stages, depending on who you talk to and how you consider things, of the feminization of young boys. Because here they are giving this doll to young boys to play with. Because that's what it is, it's a doll. It came out, I guess about the same time the Cabbage Patch Kids came out. I, I would assume, I don't know, I have to look that up. But my buddy is basically a doll that you give to boys. And I just, you know, today it makes me disgusted. I mean, give that boy a rifle. I mean, my boys love playing with their BB guns. They love, I mean, I'll be out there and I'll be inside. Here come the boys grabbing their guns, heading out the door. I'm like, where are you going? Oh, I don't know. We're going to go shoot something. Okay. <laughs> I just... Um, you know, I, I learned target practice. You know, I, you know, when I went to the military, I scored expert first time out on my uh, first time out. We were out at the range. We got tested. Scored expert first time out. I, I, I consider myself a pretty good shot. I've never been through um, what's that rifleman's program to, to, to determine whether or not I'm actually a marksman on paper. But I'm pretty good. And um, I, I attribute that to going out when I was a kid, because this is still, you were still able to do this when you were a kid, even in the suburbs, go out there with an EV gun and shoot things. And mostly what we did is we shot birds, you know, and everyone's like, oh, those poor birds. My mom couldn't stand the fact that I was out there shooting birds. But, you know, it, it made me a good marksman, you know, and they weren't, they were just regular songbirds. But I got really good. 
and my kids, I mean, they're not really out there shooting birds a whole lot. I got, I, I got for my boys little green army men. You know, the little dollar, the dollar store, you can buy those packs of little green army men. And that's what they practice on. But, um, yeah, I got really good at shooting birds. And my kids come, sometimes they go out there and shoot birds. But, but it's just the whole thing. My buddy, my buddy and me. It's the feminization of little boys. That's what that is. Oh, now I'm on the hardball. You can tell it's not so bumpy now. But I got to watch for deer. You can't go too fast out here. People fly down these roads and um, they wonder why they hit deer. You got to slow down out here. You cannot go that fast, especially during the rut. I saw somebody with a brand new Jeep last time I was in town. It wasn't a Jeep Cherokee or a Jeep Wrangler. It was one of those other Jeeps. I forgot. There's so many Jeeps out there now. Brand new Jeep. Just got it. And blammo. Hit a deer. You know, messed up the front. I mean, it's, it, it's a really poor family, too. I mean, I guess, I don't know how they afforded this brand new Jeep, but maybe they did. But thank goodness it had insurance on it. Anyway, that's just my thoughts today. As I'm heading down the road and uh, figured I'd just open up the camera and start talking but yeah my buddy my buddy and me you know who my buddy is when I was a kid my buddy was my rifle that's my buddy and everywhere I go my rifle's got to go my buddy and me <laughs> all right guys see you next time on the homestead my buddy my buddy my buddy my buddy